Got back door wide open. Kill a nigga, leave him on the ground. They got his eyes open. Man, shut your bitch ass up. Lane, switch, I've been on that same shit. Skirt. Yo. Hey, man. What's good, y'all? Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. What's good, y'all? I'm coming to you another Vegas video today. And before we hop into today's video, hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all having an amazing day today, you feel me? Hope y'all had some delicious to eat today, too, gang. Hope y'all just doing well. Hope y'all mental health straight. Hope everything good with y'all, gang. And if it's not, it's gonna get better. Ooh. Fuck no. But yeah, man, everything gonna be solid, gang. Everything gonna be good, bro. But, but if y'all seen in the last video, I had blind bought a certain fragrance. I'm gonna play it right here. And today it came in. Now, as y'all know, it goes with these blind buys. It could be completely dog, or it can be so gas. It can be gas, it can light the house on fire. You feel me? So, hopefully, in this box, I hope I got the right thing. I hope I got it, bro. Because if not, <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> but yeah, man, let's see if I added another W to the collection, or if I added an L to the collection. So, hey, man, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight to it, gang. Let go. So, all right, y'all. So, as y'all know, I only bought from two websites, and I got this from Aura Fragrance. And I bought this fragrance when? Saturday? Saturday? Monday? Huh. Wait, well, no, I bought this on Friday. So, this this came to my house within four to five days, right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, this is the fastest shit shipped to my house. So, yeah, Aura Fragrance is definitely legit. Um, Yeah, Aura Fragrance is legit for you guys that keep asking, because I know they got suspicious, suspiciously low prices, but they actually, like, they legit for real, though. But, um, I probably should have got a knife to open this shit or Fuck. It's gonna get better. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes. It's not even a song. I'm just saying that. <laughs> gotta put my finger in the hole, y'all. Hold on. What the fuck? Gotta, gotta spread the hole. Hold on. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a knife. Oh, wait, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go um put this thing to surgery right quick. One hour later. You know what I'm putting a little bit through surgery. And let's go ahead and take an open it for And like I said, bro, one thing I do notice is with Jumma Shop, it comes with a lot more packaging. With all fragrance, this is about all packaging you're gonna get. Now, this is still protecting it, don't get me wrong. But this is all you're gonna get, gang. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as y'all can see, the box is planner because I bought a tester. Um, as you see, my sunny poem. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, no cap, no cap. I'm, I'm completely fine with having no cap, you feel me? Like I said, it's a tester. Um, not for sale, a legal sale. Do y'all see that? I have something illegal in my possession. Oh my God. But as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? We got the Masani Bomb. You see me? The Masani Parfum Bomb. Now this is supposed to be a clone of Blue Ch Well, it's not really a clone, but I heard it's very similar to Blue de Chanel. Okay, I heard it's very similar. And as y'all know, my Blue de Chanel love story, Um, I bought it and it died on me about a week later. <laughs> and um. I just, I've been traumatized since, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of been healing my heart a little bit, but I ain't been the same, you feel me? So hopefully this can like restore some of my Blue Chanel memories. And um, actually I could say, I got something to go with this video on Amazon. Um, I'm not trying to go through surgery again. Fuck that, where's my key at? I ain't going through surgery again, bro. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, y'all, okay, y'all. So, opening it, and guess what I got? A whole, a 200 count of tester strips. A 200 count, okay? So, now we can actually, you know what I'm saying? Do our tester strips. Bro, this is a lot of fucking tester strips. Oh my gosh, I don't even think, I, I don't even need all these. But, 
got a tester strip and this is how we want to test our fragrance okay like i said my sonny perform bro this just say tester illegal sale am i finna go to jail nah i ain't sell shit Shit, if they lock me up, I'm snitching. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got Masani Bon Parfum. Please, please be a W. Please be a W. I ain't smell nothing. I ain't smell nothing. I ain't smell nothing. It kind of do. It, kinda... it got a little bit of de deodorant smell to it. It kind of, it kind of do remind me of Blue Chanel. It kind of do. It got it, it remind me of another cologne though. It remind me of another fragrance. Like it, it got that, it got them citruses like Buddha Chanel. It got them citruses for sure. But the DNA, like it, it's reminding me of another fragrance. It's not, it's not, I don't think this, I don't, yeah, I don't think this is meant to be a clone of Buddha Chanel. Cause if it did, it would have did a way better job. I can just tell. But it gives me a little hints of it. Um, like I said, that freshness. I actually wonder what's the accords in here. Actually, let me do the test right quick. Let me look on Fragrantica. Let me see where the accords, because I definitely do get them citruses in here. This is like a um, this is definitely like a another fresh daily scent. And this is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted another fresh daily scent, you feel me? Um, something to just rock for school, you feel me? Um yeah, this is a scent I will be rocking for first daily on school when I'm, you know what I'm saying, chilling. I also want to see the performance on this too. But yeah, this is this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. It's not it's not really beaming off the paper. Um, I'm not smelling too much monstrous performance. I actually like the opening. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me look at the uh notes on fragrance. Okay. Yeah, citrus, woody, warm, spicy, aromatic, lavender, fresh. Yeah, I'm getting like a, I'm getting like a soapy vibe. I'm getting like, it reminds me of a, of a soap I have, of a soap. I, it smells like that lavender and um that native. That's what I'm kind of, that's what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of that native. I'm gonna put it right here. It's reminding me of that. That's that's what I'm thinking about. It reminded, it's reminding me of that um that body wash. This smells like a very good body wash. Um, when did this come out? What does that say? 2017, hmm, not too long ago. Um, quality cap and bottle. Um, I don't have a cap. <laughs> Versatile can be worn all seasons and occasions. I agree. Refined citrus aromatic fragrance. Not a good dupe for Buddha Chanel. Yeah, I can say that. If you are looking for an exact clone of Buddha Chanel, I probably should have went with the Club de Nuit um thing. But this of uh, this is kind of its own its own thing. So I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really too mad at it. It's it's not an L. It's definitely not an L. Um was it worth the thirty dollars? I can say I definitely recommend this. This is another good starter fragrance, I'll say. Now, for somebody who's trying to get into fragrances, or you're trying to gift it to somebody who's getting into fragrances, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to add some cheap to their collection. This is good. This is good. I don't see anybody, you know what I'm saying, not liking this. This is a pretty good. You know what I'm saying this is pretty good fragrance. I like this. Like I said, fresh can this, this, this you could say this is very fresh, very versatile. Can be worn with a suit, can be worn with no shirt on, can be worn during any occasion. I'm liking this, bro. I'm liking this. But um, yeah, what y'all think about the bottle though? The bottle cool. The bottle cool. I ain't gonna let up the bottle, it kind of like throws me off a little bit. Cause I thought the smell was gonna be a little darker. Like I thought it was gonna be a little darker. But the smell is pretty cool though. I feel like the bottle kind of throws it off. I feel like that's how all fragrances should be. It should represent the smell. Like something like that's why I say something like Lamar Elixir. I feel like before you even get into the fragrance, you can already tell what this is. Though the it, the design is bold. The um the um the name Elixir, it already lets you know it's powerful. You feel me? Like it's just if you it's it's there in your face, you just gotta take the hint. You know what I mean? But with this, you know what I'm saying? It's just it makes you think like of a dark, mysterious good guy. I'm gonna put a picture right here of the person that makes me think of. If y'all watch that show, y'all know what I'm talking about. But it makes me think about like a mysterious bad guy, good guy, if it makes sense. Well, yeah, I'm gonna smell that opening again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the hair smells. Yeah, that shit smells pretty good. But in the opening, I'm getting. It smells like deodorant a little bit to me. I ain't gonna lie. But it smells like a good deodorant. It smells like a good deodorant. You know how fragrances smell more expensive than what they cost? This smells. This doesn't smell too expensive, but it doesn't smell dirt cheap though. 
it smells it's good quality um like i said bro for 30 dollars, you get in a good fragrance you get in a really good fragrance game this is another fragrance i would say i recommend to everybody out there but now the main question is do i think this is a w blind buy hell yeah hell yeah this is another fleet added to the daily fragrance collection you feel me um something i could wear on a daily something i could wear any occasion um yeah this is just another daily fragrance nothing too special about another too shabby pretty good but another question does it compare to blue de chanel not really i'm not really getting no hints of blue de chanel it's just, it's, this is pretty much its own thing um people who say blue de chanel i kind of do kind of feel clickbaited a little bit but then again it is what it is gang um if you want blue de chanel buy blue de chanel or if you if you do really want it you can afford it i, I probably should have won with that club in the week thing but i'm glad with my purchase though i'm, I'm comfortable with my purchase I'm, I'm cool with my purchase yeah man if y'all have masani puff fun pull on let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section down below to me i rate this about a about an eight out of ten by eight out of ten for the value for money for what it does it's cool you feel me um i like it i like it i like it if the performance is cool too then i'll raise it up another point because i gotta test the performance too but just smell it's 8 out of 10. I like it. I'll fuck with it. But um, yeah, like I said, if y'all had this fragrance, let me know in the comment section down below. If you are thinking about getting this fragrance, it is a good fragrance for $30. Um, I would say don't pay over 40 though. Over 40, this is not worth it if you find this for over 40. But besides that, good fragrance, good W cop. You know, I, I feel like it's a W blind buy. And this place is gonna be very good in my collection. But um, yeah, man, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. And peace.